So what is Orion at? So I saw this coming when we discovered the prime number pattern that the current encryptions were no longer going to work. And that there needed to be something for free speech. That we needed some mechanism to be able to have and safeguard free speech institutionally. That shouldn't depend on me, that shouldn't depend on my passion for this subject or any one person's passion. That it couldn't be taken down because it's on blockchain. It's immutable. And all we would be is a protocol to allow people, individuals, and communities to create their own social media platforms. Now, there were some major limitations. One was we had to come up with our own quantum and secure encryption that is not based on factorization at all. Because all the current methods are all based on factorization. We wanted none of that. Because we knew that that was doomed. But what we also figured out was that all of the other platforms have a limit on group chat. So the maximum number of people you can have on WhatsApp is only 1,024. The maximum number of people you can have on Telegram is 200,000, and none of it on Telegram is encrypted, not even at all. Did you know that? Group chats are not encrypted on Telegram. And unless you click the button on Telegram that says secret chat before you open a new chat from the beginning, that's not encrypted either. It's not even encrypted. So, so many people like me moved to Telegram because I thought, oh, it's encrypted. At least that'll be safe. Guess what? It's not even barely, it's not even encrypted at all for group chats. And I've never even used a one-on-one -on -one chat with secret chat because it should be a default setting, but it's not. So I decided to create the world's first decentralized, quantum secure, social media app that allows for unlimited size communities. I've built social media stuff before in the healthcare space. It took off like crazy. And this was my vision. And within this, I wanted to safeguard data sovereignty. That's why I did it. That's why I was passionate about this because I feel and I, I strongly believe now, and I believe this five years ago as well, that data is the world's most valuable asset, that the best chance for human doings to turn into human beings is actually towards a universal passive income enabled through our data collection that we control, not just through thievery is it taken from us. By the way, Instagram has just announced that they're gonna give everyone an onslaught of advertising and you can pay not to get the advertising. It's gonna be 15 bucks a month also. What a surprise. Twitter made a similar type announcement, but they didn't say it's gonna be tied to advertising. They just said everyone's gonna have to pay. So here's the funny part. So now you're telling me that you have to pay so that they can take your data, which is worth way more money than any of this measly $15 a month? That's why they love the data business model. That's why they're, they're looking to make avatars of every one of us. They can copy my content. They can copy me. They can offer it back to me as a service so I don't have to make content anymore. Good luck with this stuff on that. Are you thinking AI could do this one? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. AI is not very good at math. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so... So basically I created a platform that I'm focused first on the spiritual well-being community. Our team is. It matters not about how I feel about it. I created a platform that will last well beyond me. There's a voting mechanism that communities can decide to employ. It's built on a very robust chain. It's built on a Rust platform, which is Polkadot, also quantum secure. And this is the most exciting thing ever because we have a very fast acting app that I love using way better than I love using WhatsApp or, or Telegram. I've been using it now for several months. It's freaking outstanding. I didn't want to launch it until it was like literally like super perfect. And we're, we've got a huge momentum building around it in the community of creators and influencers. This was an app built by creators for creators. You are intended to own your own crowd. You can have and appoint your own administrators as a creator, and you will monitor yourself. It's no different than having a protocol like WordPress. WordPress 
And Wix has a big difference. On Wix, Wix is hosted on their servers. WordPress, I'm taking the protocol and I put it on my servers. So if anyone wants to get in the back end of my website, they've got to get a search warrant. They come to me and I can say, yes, I'm going to give it to you. Or I can plead the fifth. In the case of Wix, the government will show up to Wix. The Wix will just give them all your information. They can't say no. There's no saying no. And then on the other hand, you've got to laugh because we've got WhatsApp asking us, sending us letters and stuff, or, or now messages directly saying, hey, write yourself a message with all your shopping lists so you'll never forget anything. So they can sell it to all the brokers who buy it. That's what they do. That's how they work. So I, I'm very excited about this platform. In this, there will be a commons area as well. You can follow many people that will be hosting their own social media platforms. It's very exciting. I can't turn them off. We set up a system that is not up to me. It's not up to any one person. It's decentralized. And I believe that that is the future of democracy. I believe that we have a lot of redundancy in government that is just now become very, very corrupted. Government today is an anachronism in the way that it is set up. The representation is the foundational problem. The whole concept of representative is becoming the harbinger of the corruption. I think we all know and we all feel it. And we all have a responsibility. It was in the Declaration of Independence. It says it very clearly. You know, if despotism starts to rule again, it is not only our ability, but it is our obligation to fix it. I have four children. I want my children to grow up in a free land. What we're seeing right now is no longer free. Freedom is not telling me what I can and can't say. It doesn't mean to say that people don't pay the consequences for what they say. Of course, they will pay the consequences for what they say. There are going to be people that say a lot of stupid stuff. That's life in general. But what is specifically wrong with our society is that we have so vilified the ability to voice our opinions that we've all lost the ability to even understand the alternative viewpoint and we've lost the muscle, it is atrophied, of empathy. Empathy is standing in another man's or another woman's shoes and experiencing what they experience. I've had many times in my life where I've changed my mind because somebody of sound mind and reasoning and heartfelt, passionate discourse have changed my mind on very fundamental topics. I would never, ever want to take away that ability from my children. And yet AI is doing that every day by determining the echo chamber of their own conditioning bias and placing them within that as a cage. I don't agree with it. So this is why Orion exists, and it's about freeing your voice. There is a subscription fee, because today, if you're not paying for social media, you are the product. And guess what? Now you're gonna have to pay for social media, and you're still the product. You're paying for the right for them to basically take your data. One example, AbV will pay $27,000 a year for type two diabetes data of geolocation to track people individually for their clinical trial work so they can use it as a control against people that are on their drugs and they can test their compliance. Do you realize the value of your data? If you don't, read NeuroMind, M-I-N-E-D. I believe the best chance at a universal passive income is for us to collect and decide what to do with our own data. It's our own asset. And decentralization is the answer. I believe this. Fundamentally.